How can I help you, Kool-Aid Kenzie? Cough syrup, Claire. Kmart Kens. <sighs> Dang it! I win. Right. Yeah, why? <laughs> Doofus. Uh, Dad wants you in the kitchen. You called, Father Dearest? You got an acceptance letter from Oxford. I didn't apply to Oxford. I figured I'd do it for you, seeing as you're so busy with school and... your hobby. Dad, I told you I was going to go to the Fine Arts College here. Fine Arts School isn't going to put food in your stomach, Claire. It's fine, Kens. I know Dad's just trying to look out for me. Don't give up, okay? the memo about casual friday yeah thanks for stuffing it in my locker no problem so i know this might be short notice but tomorrow the school is hosting its fall semi-formal this is semi what now it's basically a fancy way of saying a dance we host it at this party rental place because the gym is kind of cramped i i don't really dance i have yet to meet someone at this school who can So you'll go, right? Great! I'll text you the address. See you then! I didn't even give you my number. How does she do that?
I assume you're all wondering why I changed your seating arrangements. Because of the obscene amount of penis strokes we made during the STD presentation? Well, that and the fact that you used the condoms that the nurse handed out as slingshots. Unfortunately for you all, I have a project that requires a partner, and whoever you happen to be sitting next to... Congratulations, you've had a baby. <sighs> Alright, now this is just... <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> you have a budget of $50,000 a year and have to find out how much this baby will cost you for 24 months. You wouldn't happen to know how many pampers we're going to need, would you? I, uh, I haven't even been around a baby before. Ugh, great. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Um, yeah, it... It was my first day yesterday. You're the transfer student from presentation. Riley, right? Right. I hear that school is pretty rough. Rough is... one way to put it. Uh, right. Baby budget. What's first on the list? Um, formula- Two thousand dollars a year for formula alone? Yo, teach! Uh, where's the breastfeeding option? There is none, Kenzie. <laughs> you think they sell hand-me-down formula at Goodwill? Even if they did, I, I wouldn't trust it. Well, it's the only way our baby is going to be eating. So, what's your average in this class? <laughs> I miss the part where that's any of your business. N noted. Hey there! Are you feeling any better since yesterday? Yeah, a, a lot better actually. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, are you going to the semi-formal tomorrow night? They're always so much fun. It's a little awkward getting the dancing on the go at first, but once Delilah gets the floor, Nobody is afraid of looking ridiculous. <laughs> I'm assuming you've met her? You could say that. Um... I I'll be there. Good! I'll see you tomorrow night then. Yeah, see you.
What happened? Coach made me captain of the team. I don't understand. Isn't that a good no, thing? No, it's not! It's too much pressure, man. I don't know what he was thinking. He wouldn't have given you that position if he didn't think he deserved it. And what if I don't deserve it? What if I screw up and let my whole team down? What if Coach realizes I'm shit and kicks me off the team? The only reason why I do so good is because the rest of the team carries my That's ass. That's quite enough out of you. Are you seriously going to let all these what-ifs delude your vision of the here and now? You're letting your self-esteem issues get in the way of what's important. If you feel like you don't deserve this position, then push yourself until you do! Getting upset over it isn't going to do anyone any good. It's just going to make you lose focus, and you will screw up. God, you sound like a self-help book. I'm your personal. I don't know what I would do without you. Have a little faith in yourself. Because I have every ounce of faith in you. I love you so much, you have no idea. I think I do.